I think sometimes what can cause a student to not take initiative is sometimes just being not motivated. And you have to really think about where is this lack of motivation coming from? And you have to think about your situation to say, wait, am I depressed? Is something else going on? Am I going through anxiety? Because it's important to think and identify what's causing that behavior. Because if you don't, then it's really hard to move past it, right? Mm -hmm. So really reflecting on that part will also be important. So then that way you can start taking initiative as well. And again, along those lines, sometimes it might just be burned out, right? You're just burnt out with everything. The other thing too is if you have ADHD, undiagnosed ADHD, if you can't really focus, you're you're probably going to come across like you're not taking initiative. And there is adult onset ADHD as well that you can go through your life that you never knew you had it. And then you get to college and you're struggling. It might be just that. I think another factor that sometimes plays into it are the cultural or social messages you've gotten, whether it's related to your gender, your ethnicity, your race, you know, or another um, aspect of your identity, the messages that you've gotten about how okay it is to speak up or ask, Mm -hmm. especially requesting or speaking to people in positions of authority, right? Mm -hmm. So I grew up in a sort of patriarchal culture, also in a patriarchal religion, where like women were not necessarily encouraged to speak up a whole lot. You know, Mm -hmm. they were encouraged to be the helpers in the background, you know, doing all of the service and doing everything for everyone else, but not always doing things for themselves. And when it comes to taking an taking initiative, it really is a form of doing something for yourself. (laughs) And so it can be hard. I would say the final things that you really want to think about is one would be take a break. If you're struggling with burnout, it might be putting your applications aside or, you know, something aside for maybe just a day or two and doing something fun because burnout is real And then figuring out also if there's a cause for your burnout, like for example, lack of sleep. If you don't sleep well, you will burn out because you are fatigued. Or if there's other external circumstances, you want to make sure that you're addressing those things too. And especially if you're struggling with ADHD, depression, anxiety, or a drug or alcohol issue, you want to make sure you get help. Because if you don't fix and address these things, there's no way you can do anything else. So just make sure you do reach out to get help. 